Hi, I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks, and this is a thermal test to see what a difference an NETD makes. That's noise equivalent temperature difference, measured in thousandths of a degree, and it's important if you want to see animals through rain, mist or fog, like on this November morning, across a river valley with visibility down to about 800 metres, that's just noise to any thermal. But a smaller NETD means more temperature sensitivity and more refinement to create a better picture that's really apparent in challenging conditions. In our controlled test, we're comparing a sub-40 mK NETD thermal sensor in the Pulsar Thermion 2XQ50 with a sub-25 mK NETD sensor in the Pulsar Thermion 2XQ50 Pro, both with a 50mm f1 lens and a 384 x 288 17 micron sensor. Scene settings or sensor amplification have been set, as well as the focus, brightness and contrast to get the best image of these sheep, their pens and surroundings 583 metres away through fog. You'll notice both have no problem in detecting something warm in the centre of the screen, but the crisp detail of the sub-25 mK sensor in the foreground meadow, the trees, in the field in the distance, and any warm objects, well, that's clear. So that's the difference a sub-25 mK NETD makes in fog. If you want to be out in all weathers, factor in the sensor's NETD for the thermal you choose. And to find the best spec of thermal scope or spotter, visit thomasjacks.co.uk. Or for more videos like this, just subscribe. I'm Dave at Thomas Jacks. Thanks for watching.